What's up, everybody? And today we're checking out how Finland and Sweden would transform NATO's military capabilities. This is by Wall Street Journal, so I'm probably going to get a copyright claim for this. Please like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Helps with the YouTube algorithm. Um, there will be a link if you want to watch the video about me waffling over the top of it in the description down below. If you want to watch any of these videos I make without me talking over the top of it about my personal experience in the Royal Marines and kind of comparing and trusting that, comparing and contrasting that to uh, current affairs or, or other military topics, then you can go and watch it without me waffling in the description. Uh, I'm, I'm interested to see more about the whole Sweden and, and, and Finland in NATO. I think it's really important that we have a good understanding about what's going on around the world. Um, I don't usually cover too many current affairs. Obviously, you've probably watched the channel a bit. You're probably well aware of that. But uh, when I do cover them, I want to make sure that we're getting as much information as possible so that that information can be distributed and we can all make an intelligent um, opinion about the situation, okay? So let's watch this. Let's have some fun. Let's have a cheeky peek. Let's learn some stuff along the way, and let's figure out what's going on. And Russia have eyes on this Swedish island, once inhabited by Vikings. Let's, and let's, start, it, let's start it from the beginning again here. Both NATO and Russia have eyes on this Swedish island. Once inhabited by Vikings in as early as the 8th century, this piece of land is of strategic importance. That's because it's located in the center of the Baltic Sea and mm. is on NATO's European front line. But it's also the only waterway where Russia has direct access to the West. Gotland is just one small part of how NATO could benefit if Sweden and Finland become members of the bloc. Both nations have said they will take steps to apply for membership of the Western Military Alliance. It is a very significant shift. These are... So yeah, this is obviously absolutely massive. We did a video yesterday on NATO, on Finland joining NATO and how big that is considering that their border with Russia is gigantic. Um, I also said in that video, by the way, about how I bet the US is already talking about getting some bases in Finland, um, some military bases. And there were some comments of people saying it's already happening. They've already discussed it. They've got a... I can't remember. Someone said like 14 bases or something planned. Um, <clears throat> obviously... These are just comments and they're not sources, so we'd have to look into that. But it wouldn't surprise me if in the next year or two, there is U.S. military bases in Finland right near the border. It's inevitable at this point now that they've joined NATO. Two countries that have sought to take a position of military non-alignment. Finnish and Swedish membership in NATO would greatly enhance the defense of the Baltic region and reduce the chances of Russian adventurism or attack across the air, land, and sea domains in an integrated fashion. Analysts say... I want to also preface this about the the um, the flow of information. Obviously, being a former Royal Marines commando, I learned very on in training that the more information we can have about what's going on as individuals on the ground, the better. Now you can extrapolate that and make it bigger. And the truth is the same, that worldwide, when it comes to military movement, exercises, exploration, being naughty, like these things all need to be known. And the more information, the better. And one of the best places we can get that information is right in Sweden and Finland, where it's right up there. We're seeing what's going on. And we know Russia have played about. There's been stories of, of Russian, you know, um, submarines messing about in places they shouldn't be in fact i got told this while i was on ship that what would happen is they couldn't ping any um submarines to a certain distance and then within the border of the uk or wherever a, sub a russian submarine will just pop up ping on the radar and then go back down just to show that they're there and they do stuff like that all the time this is something that if you speak to anyone from the navy it's very common um uh, russia do like to mess about and just kind of like um try and intimidate uh, but having Finland and Sweden right there is pretty massive, isn't it? The expansion of the bloc could make NATO stronger and affect Russia's current strategy in Ukraine. To understand how, we need to look at the geography and military capabilities of both countries. Hmm. The location of both Sweden and Finland would mean the alliance has significantly more land in the east of Europe. Take Finland. Look at that. Look at that map. Look at that border that Finland joins with Russia. I've tried turning the volume up for this video, by the way, pretty high up. It seems like a pretty quiet video, doesn't it? Um, look at that border. That is absolutely gigantic. And I know this video is talking about the Baltic Sea and it's talking more about um, that area. But just the border. Look at that. Could you imagine even if they just had like four 
mili- US military bases along this border. Like, that is massive. Absolutely massive. So I don't know whether that would happen, but it certainly could. And now that Sweden are also um, joining NATO, if they've already joined, I'm pretty sure. Maybe. Have Sweden joined NATO? Did they officially join? Let me have a quick Google. Sweden joining NATO. Um, uh, 7th of March, 2024, Sweden became full member of NATO. Yeah, so it was this month. So, yeah, these two countries are now part of NATO, right? There are going to be all across the Baltic Sea here. I wish I could, like, scroll the map down a little bit. There's going to be there's going to be bases. There's probably already military bases there anyway from Sweden and Finland and their military. But there's already going to be um, NATO forces in the area now. I guarantee you. And now that I'm hearing talks about... Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be watching a video this afternoon about it. About um, the Nordic countries have joined their air force together to make like one big air force group. That's even more movement around that area. It's pretty, pretty big what's happening right now up here. Finland, for example. It has an 830 mile long border with Russia. But if we look a little closer, we can see that this border is full of lakes and marshland with very few roads for military vehicles, such as tanks, to travel on. Analysts say those conditions would be beneficial for NATO in any potential combat situation with Russia. Yeah. From a NATO point of view, it's a huge opportunity. So you think about combat in Ukraine over by Kiev, where Russia was trying to push down really narrow roads. That's Finland. Mm. One key area for Russia is the Kola Peninsula, where Moscow houses sub-launched ballistic missiles that are key to its nuclear arsenal. Okay, I didn't Currently, know that. Currently, the only NATO country bordering the zone is Norway. But analysts say if Finland joins the bloc, it would increase pressure on the region. So suddenly if Finland's having an exercise up here, it's not just Norwegian forces, you know, maybe a brigade or two. Now suddenly it might be 50,000 troops. So again, Russia has to now divert troops up there. In that's massive as well. Like that's another thing. We did get news that Putin has moved troops towards that Finland border now that uh, they've joined NATO. We heard about that, that they're doing that just out of pure defense, you know, pure kind of security reasons right and now that takes troops away from ukraine and think about how many how much resources russia has already used on ukraine like an ungodly amount of resources right and now they're also having to deal with this as well it takes away from ukraine which is also really really big in sweden <clears throat> Gotland is strategic for russia because it could be a base to protect its naval forces in the baltic sea and they would use that as a base of operations for amphibious assault, for land attack, for air attack, and for naval attack. In 2017, NATO and Sweden worked together on a simulated mission of a Baltic Sea attack, which Alberg said concluded the island would be a central part of any invading strategy. Mm. Although Finland and Sweden have been close NATO partners for decades and worked on such joint missions, they have remained militarily non-aligned. For centuries, Sweden has largely avoided involvement in military conflicts, while Finland stayed out of NATO after the alliance formed in 1949, largely to avoid provoking Russia. Mm, yeah. So the fact that they are deciding now to potentially join the alliance, I think is very significant and speaks to the sense of vulnerability um, that countries feel in the wake of Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Rus Just to preface this, they've both joined now. They've both joined and... Things are already in Russia's motion. invasions of Georgia in 2008 and Crimea <clears throat> in 2014 sounded alarm bells in both nations, but the current war pushed them to reconsider NATO membership. In response, Russia, which has long stood against any eastward expansion of the bloc, has issued threats. According to the Kremlin, Russian President Vladimir Putin told the Finnish president that ending the... Just, I just want to go back to that photo a minute. That looks like an AI photo. According One to second. the Kremlin, Russian... Pre Look at the, these characters, like, it's so, like, like, if you literally put in AI, Soviet officer, like, this is literally what would come up, isn't it? <laughs> it looks like an AI picture, doesn't it? That's crazy. President Vladimir Putin told the Finnish president that ending the country's decades-long non-aligned defense policy would be a mistake for Helsinki. 
And <clears throat> Russian Deputy Foreign Minister Alexander Grushko said that Moscow would need to take adequate precautionary measures if NATO were to deploy infrastructure for nuclear weapons near Russia's borders, mm. including in Finland. I think one of the reasons that we've see, we saw um, the invasion of Ukraine is because they are not a member of NATO. That's exactly and why. That, you know, Russia felt that they could therefore take the action they did without incurring a direct response from NATO. And so I think that is something that will be playing into Moscow's um, strategic calculus, that once these states are, if they become members of NATO, then it will have to take kind of more indirect action. It's mental to think that that's still going on. It's been, what, over two years now? Absolutely crazy that it's still going on. The addition of Finland and Sweden to NATO would also enhance some of the bloc's shortfalls in air defense, according to Al Burke. They do not have sufficient vehicle-mounted air defense systems. Uh, NATO air defenses, especially in the east, are very, very weak. And, and again, this is a huge capability shortfall that NATO is attempting to address. Sweden's mm. advanced purchases of air-launched cruise missiles and Finland's $9.4 billion purchase of 64 cutting-edge U.S. F-35 fighter oh. jets. Well, you got to remember, I've, I'm doing a video this afternoon as well about uh, this new Nordic Air Alliance. I forgot what the actual name of it is, but it's basically all the Nordic countries making one air group, one air force. So if you think about like these, these aircraft that Finland are buying and then everything else that all these other countries have as well, Pretty decent. <laughs> would significantly improve NATO's air defense and attack capabilities. And it could require Russia to add countermeasures to that potential threat, analysts say, spreading its resources thin while trying to establish air dominance. Mm. But some analysts also believe that the introduction of Sweden and Finland into the bloc could fit into a broader plan by Russian President Vladimir Putin to realign his forces to different regions. I think Russia thought a long time ago that Finland and Sweden would end up joining NATO. I think it helps Putin in terms of his messaging that NATO is scary so that he can divert resources from human development in Russia towards military. They're definitely right there at the end. You can watch the video if you want without me waffling over it. It's in the description. Um, NATO, we, uh, sorry, Putin is definitely going to be using this to his advantage and saying, hey, look what NATO are doing. They're pushing even closer to the border. Hey, China, look what they're doing over here. They're getting even more aggressive. Like, of course he's going to say that. But at the same time, this is only a response because of Ukraine. So he knows, ex Putin knows exactly what he's doing. He's well aware before Finland and Sweden joined NATO, he was well aware that they were going to do it if he invited, invaded Ukraine. Or at least if he didn't, oh my God, he must have been, he, he mustn't be on the ball if he didn't expect something like that to happen. And so I think he is using this to advantage to be like, hey, NATO are being more aggressive. We need to be more careful. Please put more funding into this instead of, you know, stuff that he should be putting funding in, like looking after his country and his people. So yeah, interesting video. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. I know that there is a lot of people from Nordic countries who are watching these videos, who do watch it. I'd love to know your thoughts, especially with um, Finland having uh, mandatory service uh, for, for all the guys over there and then optional service for females i'd love to know your opinion as well because if you are going into the military over there you're gonna start encountering nato forces now like that's gonna be part of your time in the military there now so it's gonna be very interesting to see what people think let me know in the comments don't forget to like comment subscribe and i'll see you in tonight's video about this nordic air force all right guys love you all until next time goodbye